Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is 7 plus 3 and 3T update video. I'm just making it a combine as usual because we have got the new open beta update which is based on the Android Nougat 7.1.1 and as far as I, I know, as far as record, this is the first uh, non-Google phone or non-Nexus phone, Pixel phone which has a 7.1.1 uh, officially launched. Now there is other devices that has been launched but they are not in the market. So these are the two devices that are first to bring the Nougat 7.1.1. So, I was just comparing it to my other Nexus and Pixel phone so even though uh, they have the 7.1.1 so but few things they have still skipped that out hopefully in the upcoming builds they might add that so in this video we will be talking about kind of solution issues that I faced how did I stall and the change logs review also some of the features that I did found out I've just met a couple of times here and some of the update video like the benchmarking and comparing with the old benchmark and stuff like the previous beta pills and also comparing 3 and 3D benchmark itself because they optionally got the same thing except the processor difference this is just for you know sake of fun and just see how much these two devices perform differently so let's start and see what are the new features and changes came so you can quickly go to the here settings and about first let me show you the quick build number this is 7.1.1 based on the March 1 security patch level so my Nexus and Pixels are on the same security patch level so this is what uh, the system uh, about phone now go to the settings system updates check what updates you can check the change logs here so first off upgraded and right nougat 7.1.1 and also some new features like new shot on oneplus wallpaper option so most of the features you can see are related to the gallery only this time so gallery improvement new photo editor uh, watermark in the photo newly added media and the photos image location media can be so one of the important change that i figured out is this folders and individual media can be hidden that is the most important and after that second is a new photo edit let me quickly show you here so this is my uh, gallery app default here so if you take any quick picture uh, let's try that out that's fantastic so going back uh, so your new image immediately comes out here sometimes it does does show new but sometimes it doesn't i felt this time here so right here you can see uh, we just quickly move down here you can see it shows actually the location where you have taken the photos here actually i am right now on the gurugram so it's showing as a gurugram so this is what is the new location it will show you and also yeah uh, let me show you quick other stuff too if we just open that file you can see click on this edit section here you're going to get this new feature so this is what a uh, complete new things here came copyright slogan text and the location so this is the uh, very great thing here because sometimes you know I was just worrying about to add kind of features and watermark to my images just click on the copyright click on the edit and write something anything what you want say GIS support but it's not removing the C here <laughs> I really wanted to remove the C it's not removing so slogan anyway that is copyright so you can add text here this is your kind of watermark click on the save and also you can do add your locations here so I can see it looks nice so kind of very really nice way people for the people to really share photos you know to protect their media so location we have seen and uh, this is also a new shot on the some option change on the wallpaper when you try to set it from the desktop now we'll try to hide some photos and see now you can see we are inside the gallery and we have just created this uh, uh, never set a icon just click on here you will see this option just click on here hide photos once you do that hide photo will be hidden from the device so this is how it is hidden click on here and do not show hidden photos in the collection now this will hide your photos from here now just click on show hidden photos so this is here so once you do that you can see there is a permanent uh, you know kind of eyes option is here so this is not here so you can see a couple of photos are been hidden here so you can see this eyes option with a you know it's not hidden and stuff so these are all the important changes here even you can hide this folder too you just go to collection and just press on here you can actually make these height collections too so both things can be included here and also some general bug fixes email location newly highlighted media water meter so these are all the guys couple of important changes i do have noticed that let me show you quick other important stuff that has came so i was just talking about the 7.1.1 so this is my nexus 6p this is also running the latest 7.1.1 actually it is 7.1.2 and it's a general security patch table so here is one so with Android Nougat 7.1.1 we have an important feature it's actually it has the six quick tiles here but still I did not see any six quick tile here we just have the five quick tiles here so hopefully in the upcoming builds they will show you some new tiles feature and they also remove the setting stuff here so once you come down here you will see that option this is about this thing here and one of the new feature that has been added here if you go inside this setting 
the OnePlus laboratory we have got the power control notification now earlier this feature was there in the default Android Nougat in the Marshmallow 2 that you have to get it when you go inside the system unit. now they have moved it to outside once you turn that on you are going to get this option now how does it works I have made a detailed video long back I guess I don't know exactly so you can just give a rating here maybe companies looking for feedback you can just do that here. now how you can use it let me quickly send some message from here so right now you can see this is Google app is opening so just click on here you'll see these are different levels 0 1 2 3 4 5 what we saw here 0 to 5 now there are different kind of levels to control uh, mostly if you just click on the automatic here set on 2 or 3 it will if you make it 5 it will show you all the places so stick to 3 or 2 it won't vibrate it will just show you on the status bar and a kind of peak and pop or you can just leave it to default to let the application decide by itself what kind of settings they want few of the important minor changes that I have did notice so go inside the storage and memory and I will show you on the default stock and write stock and the memory so uh, this is storage we'll go inside the storage you can see even the storage section we have the hamburger menu visible here but the OnePlus has removed this option it's not visible from here and also do notice the kind of layout they have made it's a kind of bigger and now they have changed the color everything here we do have fonts we do not have fonts here and if you just go inside this actually my pixel has some different more options but I'm filming with that right now going inside this memory and you do have help and support option that is Google gives you it's not giving here and for the 7.1.1 we do have Google support for the Nexus and Pixel phones obviously you're not going to get that feature here so these are guys small tips and features that has been added to this new 7.1.1 update now let me show you a quick uh, build uh, this benchmarking score for the devices that you may be interested and here we go so I'll show you first the geek benchmark result for all the devices this is uh, my geek benchmark result for one plus three and this is 3t so this is the current score that I have got here 167 so impressive score and here are the end to benchmark scores so what I felt here 7.1.1 does shows slightly smaller number compared to the previous person so these are about the current scores and I have so many archives I just wanted to show you guys from the long collection because I'm showing you a lot of beta and all the official updates and just taking a back to a couple of uh, three or four builds starting with the one plus 3t so these are the score from the first beta build open beta 1 up to the last open beta 3 so as mentioned the current open beta 3 is not uh, looking to me quite fast as obvious it, you can just verify the multi score of the open beta 3 comparing with open beta 2 the similar score for the one plus 3t you can check out for the nt2 results so current for beta 3 the nt2 score is quite low even the compared to open beta 1 now mentioning for the one plus 3 uh, it shows a continuous graph for the open beta 7 till the open beta 9 but for the 10 and 11 it is kind of bumped up but again for the open beta 12 it's again streamlined with the 7, 8, 9 and 12 so kind of a good score for 1 plus 3 too now you can see the same for the n2 or the 1 plus 3 till 1 plus 7 to 1 open beta 11 it's uh, almost uh, just near to 150 and for the one open beta 12 it's a very low compared to the, all the 6 beta levels we have now let's compare OnePlus 3T and 3 for the, all the beta builds starting from the open beta 1 for the OnePlus 3T moving to the open beta 10 for the OnePlus 3 because they release at the same time this is Geek now this is the NT2 and let's move to the next build this is open beta 2 and open beta 11 for OnePlus 3 so the scores are almost uh, OnePlus 3 is obviously is lower compared to 3T but anyway just the sake of fun comparison this is for the NT2 here you can see OnePlus 3T was so great on the open beta 2 when there was some talks about you know benchmark uh, cheating and stuff anyways now it is quite lowered so this is the same for the Geek benchmark for the open beta 3 currently where we have the 3 and 3T at the last we have the NT2 benchmark comparing between 3T and the OnePlus 3 so guys those are the some of the my archives that I have taken and collected long back and I will show you on the each next update if you are my old channel subscriber you might have seen those things and also and let me go inside the setting in case your device is facing some battery issues so I did have posted one video on the 3 and 3T how to fix it so that was very much working on the 4.3 but in case your open beta builds are getting some battery issues so do go and try that out here I will put that link in the description and I have just charged my phone completely when I updated that so 3000 milliamps versus 3500 milliamps still it shows 17 hours left so looks like OnePlus 3 is uh, more optimized here
So till now I did not found any such issues in terms of battery or the device heating and also one more important stuff is left and that is for the routing your device. So I do post each time when I get update my device. Uh, I have not covered it here. I just have to figure out the latest file that is any of the beta kind of stuff available there. So I will make any updated video maybe by tomorrow how to route your phone. And that's it guys pretty much for this update for open beta for even for 3 and 3D. So do let me know in the comments if you face any problem and what kind of things that I miss. Obviously I may miss many things so let me know in the comments maybe will, if something good I will try to cover that in upcoming videos. So once again thank you so much for watching. I will catch you very soon. Have a great day.